This was a real moment of political drama, a full frontal assault by Labour on the Conservative reputation for economic competence. But this shock announcement may also come to define the Labour government just a few weeks into office. And of course, for all of us who depend on public services, what was announced just a couple of hours ago will have a real impact on our day-to-day -day lives. Labour's election campaign was all about change. Today, the Chancellor, Rachel Reeves, was looking for spare change. She claimed the last government made spending promises it never had the money to keep, leaving a £20 billion hole in the public finances. But upon my arrival at the Treasury three weeks ago, it became clear that there were things that I did not know. Things that the party opposite covered up. Covered up from the opposition, covered up from this House, covered up from the country. So the first difficult choice I am making is to ask all departments to find savings to absorb as much of this as possible, totalling at least £3 billion. Across England, road, rail and hospital projects are under review. If we cannot afford it, we cannot do it. Filling the gap will have a knock-on impact on Scotland's budget via the Barnett formula. The SNP says it's a continuation of austerity. During the recent election campaign, we in the SNP repeatedly, repeatedly warned about an 18 billion hole in the Labour Party's spending plans. Now that you've confirmed that today, Chancellor, will you apologise to those voters in Scotland here, here. who supported the Labour Party leader in Scotland when he said, read my lips, no austerity? I'm not sure if the honourable gentleman was actually paying attention. The £22 billion black hole is this year. The Institute of Fiscal Studies was warning about a black hole over the lifetime of the Parliament of £18 billion. No, those are two very different things. The Conservative response, we told you so. Today she will fool absolutely no one with a shameless attempt to lay the ground for tax rises. She wants to blame the last Conservative government for tax rises and project cancellations she's been planning all along. There was fury from the man Rachel Reeves replaced, as well as across the Conservative benches. I can understand why people and members are angry. I am angry too. The previous government let people down. On the way out of government in 2010, Labour left a note saying there's no money left. On the way in, it's a familiar message. And Paris, what do you know about the impact in Scotland from what's been announced? Well, in terms of direct impact, most of what was announced today only affects England. And because we don't know exactly where the axe will fall on road, rail and hospital projects, because they're all under review, the scale of that impact isn't known yet. Although we have heard in the past hour from the First Minister of Scotland, John Swinney, saying that there will be significant cuts to come. It raises the stakes for Rachel Reeves's first budget, which has been set for the 30th of October. It should also be said that public sector workers across England are going to get big pay rises, teachers and also junior doctors are going to get 22% more over the next two years. That should increase Scotland's funding. So it's a mixed picture that's going to be picked over over the weeks to come.